Hi, I'm Mark Gaylor. Now I've got a um, Sony's uh, Commander, Radio Commander here, and I've also got one of its uh, receivers. Uh, the first thing I'm going to have to do in order to get these two uh, communicating to each other is uh, quickly pair them. So I'll just uh, pop a couple of batteries into the base of the unit here. So a couple of AA batteries, and then I'll pop, pop the cover back on. Okay, so um, what we will do on the commander now, just uh, wake the commander up, it's actually in a little sleep mode there. And uh, we're going to uh, come over to the menu, and then I've got the pairing selected here. So I'll just press the center button, and I'll click on the word add. Now it's waiting for this um, device, and the first thing I'll do with this device is just hold the power button down for seven seconds, now the unit, the commander unit, will find this and then you'll see a number one appear at the top of the screen and uh, that is indeed what it's done. So I'll just uh, press the exit menu now. Now if I just go back into the pairing, you can see I've got a list of paired devices there. I've got um, four receivers. This was the fourth receiver I've just added. Uh, if I want to remove the pairing of any of these receivers, then I'll just hit the button again and that will remove any one of those four receivers. Okay, what you see here is one of the receivers and also one of the Sony speed lights. Uh, I'll just light that up and you can see that it's set to TTL mode and the zoom is also set to auto. Just press the mode on this particular speed light and you can see there I have TTL at the top. Okay, I'll just press the, um, uh, the mode again to come out. Uh, if I want to uh, press the function key, I can now get to access to the zoom. I'll just press the center button and you can see that I've set auto as the zoom there. Okay, so this is ready to be mounted onto the uh, receiver unit and lock it into place. Okay, if I don't want to use this as Group B, then all I need to do is uh, click and hold on the Group button until the remote uh, light disappears. And then just a simple press will move that into a different group and then press and hold in order to uh, lock that into place. Now, the rest of the functionality of this speed light uh, is going to be controlled by the commander unit. And so this pretty much is a set and forget because I can uh, control the power, the lighting ratio, the zoom. Uh, the only thing I might need to have to do is actually physically move this light into a different uh, uh, position if I want to change uh, my lighting setup. It's probably a good opportunity if I now uh, take you a little tour around uh, this interface. Okay, so we've got um, uh, a number of options with uh, how we can deal with the flash um, uh, groups that we're working with. I'll just press the, uh, the light and then just uh, press the FN key. Um, you can see that we're working with TTL. That's working with a light ratio. I can uh, choose to work with a specific output of each of the, uh, the flash groups that I'm working with. If you've got more than uh, three groups of flashes, then you will need to enter that group mode there. This uh, commander supports up to five groups in a mixture of TTL and manual mode. I'll just uh, highlight the TTL first, just give you a quick tour of this one. Uh, press the FN and we'll cycle right. Uh, the ratio is on and if I just drop down there and then press the center button you'll see the ratio of these three flash units that I've got. Now A is my main flash that's being spread um, into a big lighting modifier so that's going off at the uh, biggest number there and then we've got um, the, uh, the kick lights or rim lights uh, down at lower power settings and if I want to raise C I'll just uh, rotate the wheel and uh, we go 16 to 2. That's not a specific output, that's a ratio or a balance between those three units. If you do prefer to work with specific power outputs, uh, then we're going to go back to the menu, uh, cycle uh, back, okay, and there we go, TTL. Just press the center button and cycle right to manual mode. Now, uh, again, I will just cycle across and uh, press the center button. Now you can see the power output, specific power output. Now all of the three HVL flash units are um, set to TTL remote, uh, but I'm overriding and putting them into specific manual power there. 
Okay, uh, same, I'll just uh, go back to the main menu here. If I press the right side of the wheel now with no options selected, we're going to get the option to um, see the list of flashes, but also look at the zoom there of each of the flashes. Now I've got um, A set to uh, 24 uh, mil zoom, that's going to spread the light across that big lighting modifier. Um, B and C are set to 105. Okay, so let's just uh, press um, the center button and you can see there I could modify the zoom. Again, the, uh, the zoom is actually set to auto. Um, everything has to be set to auto on the flash unit so I can override and command those units uh, from this commander. Okay, so there's a little bit of a lightning tour. Um, it's a very flexible unit um, in that it will um, uh, basically fire a mixture of Sony flashes and non-Sony flashes. Um, and so it's, um, it's a very um, robust and also flexible system for working with flash off camera.